Okay, got my five minute timer. I'm gonna talk a little bit about motifs. What is a motif? Well, a motif is a melodic fragment. It's a nugget of gold in a pan. It's a piece of music, of melody, that you can develop and expand on. And as a soloist, motifs and the ability to discover them, hear them, and then develop them is really what separates the great, great soloists from the mechanics. Motif is the very essence of melody. It can be a rhythmic pattern, but it's usually based upon intervals, some sca sometimes scales. But I want you to think about this, that a good soloist should be a composer. They should be composing music while they're soloing. They have a set of chords that they're playing against and they should be finding melodies and compositions within their solos. All the great ones do. The great ones just don't plow through with scales, nor do composers. Composers do not sit down and say, well, I'm going to write a musical piece that's a scale. I mean, it's happened. Doe a deer, female deer is based upon C major scale, but it's done with tremendous wit and class. But generally, composers sit down to write a melody and they search for it. They, they work with their, their harmonies underneath, or maybe they start with the melody and then try to find harmonies below it that are interesting. But no one starts off by saying, well, you know, I'm going to write this tremendous tune and I'm just going to base it off from a, uh, a sequence of notes. All the things you are, yes, it's a sequence. And there are guys that love to solo against all the things you are because it's a cycle and a sequence. But it's very, very rare. The you know, the essence of melody is really intervals. What's it all about, Alfie? Intervals and rests. No one writes a tune that's just an endless string of eighth notes. You'll certainly see lots of melodies that are written with whole notes and tied whole notes and then uh, connecting stuff, you know, some scales here or arpeggios there to connect. But very few tunes are just an endless string of, of eighth notes. Rests are an important part of music and they're an important part of melody. So, I'm going to be talking a lot about motif, different techniques that you can use to create them, to hear them, to develop them. But in this first five minutes, and you know, I'm getting down there, I'm getting down there. I wish this was a glass of wine, but it's my timer, and my time is almost up for this sequence, given 
the severity of today's uh, agenda. My video time is up and we're going to talk again about Motif. I've got uh, some tracks for you to play and I've got some tracks where I'm exploring their exercises for me in discovering Motif. So let's do more of this at a later date.